Right. But it's a tiny thing way down in the way down inside. Right. Mm -hmm. And then let me ask this on uh, for all uh, of them. Follow up from Maurice. No, though, is that tiny core solid because of all the pressure that the gas makes? They are made out of the same ingredients as we are. Oh, let me, let, me, let me be precise. Okay. Okay. All right. The original nebula that formed the sun and the planets. Okay. It's gas. Right. Mixed with heavy elements, right. but they're just gaseous heavy elements. Okay. The gas giants, when they form, where do the heavy elements go? To the center. Thank you. And they make a solid mass there. Uh -huh. The lighter elements go up to the top, especially the hydrogen and the helium, mm. and it has enough gravity to hold on to them. They're moving fast, but they're not going to escape because the gravity is strong. Gotcha. For our Earth, where do the heavy elements go? To the center. How about the gas? The lighter gases, the two lightest gases are hydrogen and helium. Mm -hmm. They're moving the fastest at any given temperature. Right. It's a fascinating law first discovered by James Clerk Maxwell. Okay. We should do, we should talk about that. Oh, James Clerk Maxwell? No, no to put his oh. Maxwellian distribution of velocities. Ooh. Let's do an explainer on that. We will. No, it's very cool. All right. Really cool. I'm about it. Okay, you got it? Cool. Okay, put a pin in that. Okay. All right, good. So. We're here. We're trying to hold on to the hydrogen and helium right. the way Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune did, but we can't because our well, gravity we don't is have stronger, gravity. and it all just escapes and it back out. goes out. Okay. That's really cool. So we're stuck with the heavy gases, oxygen, nitrogen, right, and carbon dioxide. Okay, right. so that's how that works. That's how that works. 